Scorpio. This is Amber with Lives and Sync Tarot. <clears throat> this is your monthly reading for um, October 2017 singles. Now, your intuitive cards are the Two of Cups, Justice, and the Base Chakra. Your Oracle card is Forgiving and Learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love and present moments. Beautiful. So someone could be coming back that you're dealing with, um, but it's about learning. That card is about moving past something and learning something from the incident, okay? Um, with the Two of Cups, you could be coming together with someone or compromising on a situation that you were having problems with with another person, okay? Um, now, when you move to the Justice card, it could have something to do with a divorce or some kind of settlement that you all were trying to figure out how to balance, and you do figure out how to balance that, okay? Um, and with the with the base chakra, it's about thinking about your future, okay? Um, your home life, your stability, your money. So that could be a situation. Um, it could be that someone is offering you something more secure, okay? And it's because of your efforts or something that you put into the works, okay? It's like balance, seeking some sort of balance in the situation, okay? And thinking about how are you gonna do it together, how are you gonna work together, live together, things like that, okay? So let's see what the cards have for you. Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, exactly. Star card, perfect. Five of Cup, I mean, I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Justice, the Fool card, <clears throat> Nine of Swords, and Five of Cups. Mm. Okay, let's see. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Hermit. And this is about possibly splitting up, okay? Thinking about, <sighs> thinking about the path, trying to figure out how things are going to work, analyzing a situation, okay? Let's see what you have under there, yeah. So you're trying to figure out how this is gonna work for you or how this situation is going to work out for you, okay? I feel as though you felt like you couldn't move in this situation. Uh, maybe the other person was away and you couldn't contact them. You just felt like it was out of your hands, okay? But you were being patient and, and letting things kind of balance themselves out, okay? But now what you're doing is trying to figure out if this is worth saving. That's what I'm getting from it. Um, if this is something worth dealing with, that's what I feel, okay? So I feel like you're standing up for yourself, okay? Um, this could be something that you have been dealing with for a while. Um, it's had its ups and downs and I feel like it's something you're used to, okay? Either this person left you Okay, which is something that I feel like you weren't surprised about it, but you were hurt by it, okay? Whatever this situation is, it's something that happens over and over again, and it's time for you to learn from it, okay? Um, of course you felt abandoned by this situation, that's what I get, okay? But you're standing up for the situation or for yourself, okay, because of it. Now with the Knight of Cups, I feel like it's coming in. Somebody's coming in with an offer, okay? Um, very single-minded about what it is that they want, and it has to do with love. I feel like someone could be coming into you with love energy, and this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Actually, I'm gonna say it can be all signs because of the surrounding cards, okay? Now, the Star card brings healing, so this person is coming to try to bring the relationship together, which is good because it comes next to the Two of Cups, okay? So they're trying to almost bring this relationship back or heal it, okay? Because they're looking for balance. The justices, justices <laughs> are right next to each other. They're trying to create some balance, okay? Because 
I feel like you've built a wall up because of the separation, okay? Um, I almost feel like you chose the separation. I don't know why, but I feel like you chose it, okay? And this person is trying to be perfect and try to bring the relationship back. But you're trying to balance and figure out even if this is worth bringing back is it you don't know and that's what you're trying to figure out okay but i feel like you take a risk you took a risk by leaving this situation which means that there's something that you wanted it was something that was happening over and over again you weren't getting what you were supposed to get out of it and that's the reason why you took the risk okay you do worry about going back into it it's not something that you want i feel like you also worry about if you made the right decision but you felt like it was just time, okay? Now you do feel like you have lost something and you did lose this relationship, okay? I feel like this person, even though they wanna come back in and they're making it seem like they wanna fix the situation and try to um, fix what they did wrong to try to balance out their side, you've, choos you've chosen or chose not to take this, okay? And I feel like after much thought in the past, not now, that you know that you are ready to move on, okay? You're trying to start anew, okay? You're trying to find new balance, new foundations. And, and forgiving and learning comes in because you heal from this. You've healed already. This is the ultimate, like, done. Like, I'm done. I made a decision. I've thought about it. I'm staying in, in, in what I mean. I'm staying with what the, excuse me. I'm staying with the idea that I have chose for myself. I'm staying there, I'm not moving. And this is your way to create harmony in your own life, okay? You're trying to take control of things. You're trying to take control of your life, control of your castle, okay? Yeah, that's what I see. I'm trying to see if numerology is going to tell me anything. 10, 17, 27. Yeah, so there's an ending. You chose to say no. Yeah, I feel like you chose to say no because that was the best way for you to express yourself or how you felt, which is why you took that risk. You took that risk for yourself. You're standing by what you believe in and that's your way of healing. Yeah. I'm going to leave that there because I don't see anything else. If you need any additional information, please click on the link in the description box below because I'm going to clarify all of these cards in the extended reading. I will see you next week. Um, if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link is in the description box below as well. I love you very much. See you next month. Love and light.